The doctor extracted a tube of white liquid from the woman's leg abscess, then injected it into her mouth while the girl wasn't paying attention. The girl tasted it carefully. It turned out to be the taste of her mother. The doctors were shocked. The cause of all this started a few days ago. At that time, the girl was practicing rock climbing. But when she reached the highest point, her foot suddenly cramped. However, her mother, who was pulling the safety rope, let go directly. The girl fell heavily to the ground without being pulled. Luckily, there were no major injuries, just broken ribs. The mother hurriedly ran forward to chat, but the daughter didn't understand why her mother let go. However, the mother claimed that her hands suddenly lost strength. Then the two were sent to the hospital. After arriving at the hospital, the mother suddenly became blind. The doctor immediately examined her eyes, but her retina was perfectly normal. There was nothing wrong with her eyes at all. What disease did the woman had? Just then, the woman suddenly had a respiratory seizure. This indicated that her condition was worsening. If the cause wasn't found soon, she would die. However, before the doctor could react, the woman's eyes started bleeding again. The bleeding in the eyes indicated a problem with her platelets. So Dr. House immediately instructed the assistant to perform a bone marrow puncture on her. They were going to drill a small hole in the woman's waist. However, even though the electric drill smoked, it still couldn't penetrate. Were her bones harder than the drill? The doctor immediately examined her bones and finally found that they were hardening. Dr. House instantly had an answer. First, the woman had weakness in her limbs, then blindness and bleeding in her eyes. And finally, bone hardening. The only cause that could lead to these symptoms was breast cancer. Since breast tissue generally only grows on the breasts, the woman had to have her breasts removed to survive. Her breasts are a symbol of a woman's beauty. How could she agree to have them removed? The doctor prepared to counsel the woman. But when the woman learned of the situation, she said her breasts had been removed long ago. It turned out that her mother died of breast cancer. So to prevent inheriting the gene for breast cancer, she had a double mastectomy. But it was strange. How could she still have breast cancer after her breasts were removed? Just as Dr. House was at a loss, a colleague's words suddenly gave him inspiration. He said, perhaps the woman's breast cancer didn't grow on her chest. Dr. House suddenly realized something. He went to the ward and injected the woman with lupulite. Then he just randomly touched the woman's body. His colleague thought Dr. House was a pervert, but Dr. House explained that. When a fetus forms, breast tissue covers its entire body. As the fetus develops, the breast tissue moves to the chest. But sometimes breast tissue can also move to other places. In other words, the woman's breast cancer might not necessarily be on her breast. Injecting the prolite would make her breast tissue visible. Sure enough, he soon found an abscess on the woman's leg. He immediately used a syringe to extract the liquid inside. To confirm his conjecture, he injected the liquid into the girl's mouth. In the end, it was indeed breast milk. After finding the cause, the rest was easy. All they needed to do was remove her breast tissue, and all her symptoms would gradually disappear.